Hello guys, welcome back to Patron and Mujer. I'll be sharing with you a tutorial on how to make the model you see in the picture. We'll take pen and paper to write down the materials. We'll find the pattern description in the magazine children's pattern number 14. Once we have the pattern tracing from the magazine, we cut all out the side line that we'll make. This are finished pattern we mesh. They have one centimeter seam, hems and cup with notches and red lines. We start cutting the back. We place the pattern and insert the pins around and cut two pieces in mirror. This is the front, we place the pattern on top of the fabric and we cut two pieces in mirror. And you have to match the lines with the lines of the back. This is the strap, we place the pattern on top of the fabric and insert the pins around and cut two pieces in needle. This is the pocket. Uh, in this case, we are going to use on bias, so we place the pocket in bias and we cut two pieces in here. This is the piece which covers the back elastic and we cut one piece. This is the bias which is gonna add on around the neckline and the handholds and we cut three pieces in total. Before taking off the fabrics, please look at the key pattern markings, the lines you find in the pattern, the notches, and snip them. These are the pockets, we press with the iron the shape of the pockets. This is the piece from the back, these are the straps. This is the back and this is the front and we fuse them. We overlock also the sides and the curves. Also we are going to use elastic. With the help of the pattern, we make a mark for place the front pockets. We place the pocket on top and we pin it around the pocket. On the machine we start with the pockets, we fold the centimeter and we face the right and we pass a stitch on the side and the other side. The 
corner of the pocket and with the help of the scissor pull the corners and then press with the iron and pass a stitch on the hem of the pocket we place on top of the front piece the pocket we pin around the pocket and we pass a stitch all around of the pocket From and this is the back, we face the right and we pin it on the side. Take the bias, we fold in half and we place around of the hand hole. We start sewing. This is the front and this is the back. We face the right of the fabric and we start sewing from the top to the bottom. This is the bias we place on top of around the ham hole and we pass a stitch all around. Of the excess of the fabric around the handhold. Snip the curves. We fold again the bias and we pass a stitch on the edge of the bias. We fold again the bias and we pass a stitch on the other edge of the bias and we cover like that the bias. We take the pieces, we face the right of them and we pin it on the center back. This is the center back. We, we pin up the curve and then the other side. Also, with the help of the pattern, we make a mark where it is going the piece of the back. Then we are going to place the piece on the center back.
it's the center from we pin on the curve and we pin the inner length And we match the crotch length. These are the straps. We face the right of the strap and we pin on one of the sides and along of the piece. We make the same process with the other one. Start sewing from the center back, we face the right of the fabric and we start sewing from the top. We continue with on the curve but you have to leave a space without sewing at the end. We open the seams with the help of the iron, we press the seams and then we place the piece on the back. A stitch on the bottom and the top of the piece because we need to introduce the elastic in this piece. Use the elastic. A stitch in one side and the other one you have to pull a little bit the elastic and we pass a stitch on the other side This is the center front, we start sewing the curve, you have to leave a uh, space we are sewing uh, at the start of the curve and but make a back stitches there and now we continue sewing the inner length. So the other side of the inner length Finish closing the crotch length This is the strap, we close for one side and also we, we pass a stitch all along from the top to the bottom. You have to leave uh, the other side we are sewing, cut the excess of the fabric, cut the corners, turn out the piece. And then press with the arrow the piece Pass a stitch on the sides and the top part This 
to the back, we're going to place the bias on the top part. The machine will start sewing. We fold the bias in half and we pass a stitch all along of the piece. Cut the excess of the fabric along of the bias. Fold the bias and pass a stitch all along of the piece. Fold the centimeter inside and fold again the bias and pass a stitch on the other side on the edge of the bias. the bottom tape these are the straps and we place on the right side on the edge and the other side we pin the center back on the bottom tape and we place the other strap in the other side Then we're going to place the bias on the edge of the top part of the front. We fold the bottom tape, we face the right and we place the bias. And we make the same process for the other side. Also, we're going to make the hem. This is the center front, this is the bottom tape. We, we match the bottom tape and we pass a stitch on the bottom of the bottom tape. Strap. We place the strap on the edge of the top part, we pass a stitch on it and we pass a stitch on the other one. The bias, we place the bias on top and we pass a stitch on it, we fold the Bottom tape, we face the right and we pass a stitch there. The excess of the fabric along the bias and the corners. Now fold the bias and pass a stitch along of the bias. Pull the corners and fold and pass a stitch again on the bias. Fold the bias and close the bias like that.
continue with the other side. The bottom tape, we face the right of the bottom tape and we place the bias on top and we pass a stitch along of the bias. The excess of the fabric along of the top part again the bias and pass a stitch on it the corners fold the centimeter inside and fold again the bias and pass a stitch along of the bias This is the hem, we overlock around the hem and now we fold and we pass a stitch all around of the hem and then we press with the iron. And this is how finish dungaree looks. This is the front, this is the back. We place the button on the back and the elastic. Also, we place a button hole and that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials. And remember, the account is at Patrone Mujer. And as always, thank you guys for watching the video.